All right, all you positive heads. Welcome, welcome. Here we grow again. So grateful to be back with you as always. And especially excited and grateful to be here as we are finishing up the last two episodes uh, where I read from my book, The Golden Key, Modern Alchemy to Unlock Infinite Abundance. And uh, yeah, this uh, these next two episodes are the final where we talk about um, the, the golden game and the game with the universe. And by the way, if you haven't heard any of this yet, you can go back and just look. Uh, they're labeled episodes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you can listen and, and hear the whole book um, that way. Or you can also go to goldenkey.gift and use the uh, code positive head and get the audio and or ebook uh, for free and listen at your own pace. But yeah, one of the things you're going to notice in episode, uh, the, these last two episodes, six and seven, you're going to notice that I, I, I uh, as I talk about the, the, the game and then the exercises, the ritual action plan, uh, where we're all uh, continue for 88 days to do these exercises, uh, I prompt everyone as totally optionally to pay anything they want for the book as sort of the, the energetic marker or seed to sprout into greater abundance. You know, the idea is, is, is when you get to pay for something that you're not required to and what that feels like. And it's just, yeah, just what is the book worth to you? Put something in. All that being said, none of that is required. Uh, I definitely want everyone to join the Facebook group, uh, the Golden Game Keymasters uh, Facebook group, which is uh, the link is below in the show notes so that we can continue to drum up and, and work through these exercises over 88 days together and hold each other accountable and just support each other to call in further abundance. So yes, you can go to goldenkey.gift. You can uh, contribute something for the book or you can go and donate something to Goodwill or do a kind act to someone in your, you know, in your family or neighborhood or, you know, the once again, the idea is just to sort of put something as a a seed into the game that will then watch sprout into greater abundance, if that makes sense. So um, also when you go to goldenkey.gift, I'll point out, you'll see the actual golden keys that uh, I had physically made that are on the cover art, where you'll also hear sort of the magic of, of um, how this cover art was created and all the synchronicity around it in the coming chapter. Um, and so there's an actual physical key that you can get for now, you can uh, purchase that on the website. Um, one of the things that I am working on is a another edition of the book where all of this at the end that you're about to hear changes. And it's going to be tied into a very gamified, next level game with the universe uh, NFT project where the nothing is set in stone yet. And you guys know me, I have lots and lots of ideas. Um, you guys have been listening for a long time, but my, my idea for this that I'm really excited about is not allowing the keys to be purchased at all on the site and only through gamification of sharing the book. And then, you know, people can can earn, uh, you know, NFTs that are represent forms of abundance, all the forms of abundance that we outline in the book, as well as, you know, some will get the actual physical golden key, uh, et cetera. So all that is to come. Um, my, my reason for pointing that out there is for now, you can get one on the site if you choose to. And in the future, you may not. And those that did purchase them will actually get uh, an NFT along with it. In the future is the plan, you know, no, no promise because it hadn't happened yet. And I want to be really careful saying that something for sure is going to happen. And, you know, there's so many, I can do anything, but I can't do everything. But this is something I've been holding the vision of and actually starting to work on for a while. Um, some, some really, really exciting stuff uh, I've been working on that I haven't talked much about on the show that you'll be hearing more about. So I just wanted to throw that out. If you're interested and get one of those keys, it could end up uh, really playing into the future of the gamification here. But in the short term, um, yeah, definitely let's, let's do this. Let's do these exercises together. And anyone and everyone is welcome to join. Once again, just go to the uh, the Golden Game Key Masters Facebook group link below. And after the 28th, the last day of reading, I'm going to let everyone in who wants to join. And we're going to go through these exercises together over the next 88 days. So all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this next, these next, uh, you know, two, two episodes of The Golden Key as much as I have uh, enjoyed reading them and hearing, hearing it all again after this year. It's going to be 
so fun to, to continue down this path of co-creation with each and every one of you who join the Facebook group and, and we go through these exercises together. Till then, enjoy. Care to play a game with the universe? Now that the genie is out of the bottle, there is only one thing to do from here on out. Play away for eternity. Tap into the wonderful vibration of celebration by remembering that abundance is not only your natural state, but also the birthright you are being beckoned to remember. It is your destiny to eternally play among the cosmic fields as the star of the universe that you truly are. And I would like to start off this exciting new chapter of your next now moment by extending an invitation for us to co-create and play together. The game and exercises I am about to explain are intended to yield powerful results for you sometime within the next 88 days. Keep in mind that this game is designed to demonstrate your powerful abundance manifestation abilities over a relatively short period of time so that you get excited, inspired, and accustomed to playing with the universe in this way for the rest of your life. Step 1. So to kick off this abundance generating game with the universe, I want you to take a moment to close your eyes and ask yourself, If you had to quantify it, what is the monetary value of this book to you? What do you feel is the honest value of the golden key you now hold in your pocket? And more importantly, how much abundance do you wish to cultivate in your life? Because now, I am inviting you to go to goldenkey.gift to make a monetary contribution for any amount you choose. For whatever currency amount you opt to flow into this game, we are going to set the co-creative intention that it will act as a seed that will sprout and multiply into greater abundance for you within the next 88 days. So don't just choose a number based on what your brain tells you is a reasonable amount. Instead, authentically ask in your heart what currency amount will feel like a mutually rewarding energetic exchange. I encourage you to perhaps push yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone and choose a contribution amount that allows you the experience of generosity without completely breaking your bank, of course. Because as much as I want you to stretch yourself energetically in every way with this game, for both of our sakes, please don't get evicted in the process because I only have so much room on my couch. I just want to give you the opportunity to create a feeling of abundance within yourself by choosing to spend money when you really aren't required to. And keep in mind, the financial contribution amount is relative. It is safe to say that for the vast majority of you, contributing $50 would be a bigger energetic stretch than the richest man in the world, Jeff Bezos, contributing $500,000. So, It is less about the exact dollar amount you choose and more about tapping into a feeling of being intentionally generous with your offering, which is the spark that catalyzes abundance to generously flow back to you. One of the other main reasons I'm giving you the option to monetarily contribute to this game is to give you an opportunity to take action to demonstrate to the universe that you are ready to begin your journey toward unlocking infinite abundance by picking up the first key see the oneness, and turning it in its lock. The separation between us is an illusion. I am you and you are me. Everything you do, you do to yourself. This is why this counterintuitive approach, giving in order to receive, works because any amount you give, you're essentially giving to yourself. So then the question becomes, what do you think you are worth? How much do you feel you deserve and how willing and receptive are you to receive? Whenever you choose to give more than is required of you in this life, you are consciously choosing to tune into the higher frequency of abundance. And since reality always mirrors back the vibrations we put out, you will be attracting more abundance into your life by doing so. This is why the famous saying, you get what you give, is such a powerful universal truth. I like to say, you get what you give and then some. 
Regardless of the amount that you choose, set the intention for your contribution to act as the symbolic marker and catalyst for the amount of abundance you wish to unlock in your life. Some of you may find your contribution amount flows back to you threefold, sevenfold, or even tenfold through some unforeseen currency stream, similar to what occurred for Dr. Bruce Lipton in the mind-blowing story I'm about to share. Others of you may attract a new fulfilling relationship or see major improvements in your health. Still others may find your schedule shifts to allow you more time to focus on doing what you love. There's really no limit to the varied ways abundance can manifest in your movie. In the coming pages, you will be guided through several simple yet powerful exercises to help you catalyze these real, tangible results. Abundance can come in a myriad of forms, so be sure to keep your eyes, ears, and heart open with a sense of healthy expectation and attachment. And as you and the other readers play this game, magical stories of synchronicity and abundance will inevitably unfold. And at goldenkey.gift, you will have the opportunity to share your results as well as see the inspiring results of others. Also, since you know the importance of where you choose to align your energy and intentions, I feel it is imperative to let you know that my primary intention with the currency I receive from this game is to use it to bring more consciousness elevating material and media to the world. Flashy sports cars never really did it for me anyway, and as I mentioned at the beginning, I intend to practice what I preach when I say we should let currency flow when it is attached to an intention that is positive and pure, because I sincerely believe that's how it comes back to us many-fold. This is why when you opt to play the game at goldenkey.gift, you will automatically be registered as a key master. As a key master, you will receive 50% of the revenue generated from anyone who you share your personal free book download code with who also decides to play this game with the universe. Further details at goldenkey.gift. Helping you to unlock more financial abundance in this way is the good kind of selfish because if you win, I win. Besides, this isn't just my information in this book, it's ours. And I want you to be inspired to share it with the other yous and me's out there who really need and are ready to receive it. This game is meant to be a fun way to cultivate mutual abundance by spreading the wisdom of these keys and inviting as many people as possible to flow abundant energy into this game with the universe. Just as the butterfly spreads pollen between plants, you will be spreading empowering wisdom and seeds of abundance to anyone you choose to share your code with, and the natural byproduct will be more monetary energy and golden experiences for all of us to share. Indeed, it's true. A rising tide raises all ships. So again, if you haven't already made your monetary contribution at goldenkey.gift, go do so now to get the currency flowing. In the moment you are consciously choosing to pay for something you aren't required to spend money on, sit back and take a moment to notice how amazing and empowered you feel. That's the wonderful vibration of abundance that you have drummed up within yourself which is the first ripple of currency flowing outward from you, which will ultimately grow into a swelling wave that inevitably comes crashing back upon your own shores. Step two. Next, ask yourself what form or forms of abundance you would most like to unlock over the next 88 days and beyond. Here are a few foundational forms to consider. Physical healing, mental, emotional healing, monetary, financial, wealth, fulfilling relationship, friendship, meaningful experience, support, free time, travel, peace, happiness, joy. Career, employment. Hobbies, talents. Knowledge, wisdom. Perception, 
intuition. You may choose one or multiple of the aforementioned forms of abundance or any other form you come up with on your own. Take a moment now to really feel into what it is that you desire. What are you seeking most? What do you want to experience more of in your life? Take your time. I recommend sitting in a quiet place, away from any noise or distractions. Close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths to help you become more aware of your body and focus inward. Now imagine yourself as the greatest and grandest version of you. What does that feel like? What is this ideal version of yourself doing? What are you wearing? Where are you? Are there others with you or are you alone? Allow yourself to be playful and open your imagination so that the vision that wants to flow through can flow through. The answers that come to you will give you clues as to the form or forms of abundance that your soul is most craving. Do this exercise with an open mind and heart. Try not to judge what you think or what you see. When you allow your imagination to carry you in this way, you are gleaning a unique glimpse into the joyful quintessence of your being, which is home to all of the abundance which you seek. Step 3. Now that you have a clearer vision of the form or forms of abundance which you wish to unlock, it's time to pluck your manifestation desires from the ethers. Write them down on paper or document them in some other way. Think of this as the first exciting step toward them beginning to manifest physically. You may be wondering how detailed you should be in this written expression of your desires. You should be as detailed or as general as feels right to you. Both approaches are valid and will lead to an influx of abundance as long as your intentions remain positive and pure. If you opt to go for a more detailed manifestation approach, I recommend setting specific intention or intentions for whatever details are most important to you, such as, I intend to manifest a new job with these specific hours, this level of pay, doing this type of work. I intend to manifest X amount of financial abundance. I intend to attract a fulfilling new relationship within the next X months with a partner who possesses X attributes. Dr. Bruce Lipton shared an epic example of this type of specific manifestation approach when he was on episode 161 of the Positive Head podcast. In this story, he shared multiple synchronicities that wove together in fascinating ways, one of which involved a pivotal part of his journey self-publishing the biology of belief. He was put in a position in which he needed to very quickly manifest $30,000 to put toward book printing in order to capitalize on a series of fortuitous events which led to Amazon highlighting his book in national newspapers in honor of their 10-year anniversary. So his wife, Margaret, proceeded to do a series of abundance manifestation exercises, including speaking to the universe, explicitly stating what she was calling in, much like you are doing in this step. They trusted that because the underlying intention of the book was to spread empowering information, abundance would flow to them in the form they were requesting or something better. Within one week, Margaret received an unexpected letter informing her that a building she had bought shares in 15 years prior but had not thought about in many years had been sold and she would soon receive a large check for her portion of the sale. When they learned the amount they would receive, they were ecstatic because it was 10 times what they had asked for, $300,000. This is a great example of you get what you give and then some. When you're in alignment with your purpose and have a pure intention to benefit others. Alternatively, you can remain more general in your intentions. Since we can't always see the big picture in the same way our higher self can, 
Sometimes it's best not to be too worried about the specifics and instead focus on the underlying experience we hope to achieve from whatever we are wishing to attract. Here's an example. Perhaps instead of being super specific and saying, I want to meet a man that is at least six foot tall with olive skin and brown eyes who is between the ages of 30 and 32 years old. Ask yourself, what is the underlying experience that you are seeking from manifesting a new partner with this description? Is it really crucial that this person be six foot tall? Or at a deeper level, is it a fulfilling connection which you are truly seeking and you just like the idea of having it happen with someone that you feel comfortable wearing high heels around? If you indeed manifest this person and they turn out to be a total jerk, you may be better off just wearing flats. Remember, there are infinite ways the universe can fulfill your core desires. So that's why in many cases, I recommend being general and only focus on the foundational forms of abundance you wish to manifest. Because if your intentions are positive and pure, then your higher self will gladly fill in the details. Whether you choose to be more detailed or more general, write it down. You may record just one or a few words, or you may fill an entire piece of paper documenting your desires. There is no wrong way to do this. Just allow whatever wants to come through to flow through. Once you have the forms of abundance that you are calling in documented, read them out loud repeatedly and revisit them regularly over the next 88 days to continue vibrationally anchoring them into your world. Lastly, to help anchor them in even further, it's important to drum up and amplify the vibration of abundance regularly by implementing the key word in the law of attraction, inspired, disciplined action. So now I will share three simple yet powerful exercises to help you consistently drum up the vibration of abundance that you have begun tapping into. All right, everyone, that concludes today's reading from The Golden Key, Modern Alchemy to Unlock Infinite Abundance. Hope you have enjoyed. Be sure and go to the link in the show notes to join uh, the Facebook, the private Facebook group, The Golden Game Key Masters, where we'll be participating in some abundance manifestation exercises collectively and supporting one another on that journey. And also remember, you can get the book, your own copy of the audio or ebook at goldenkey.gift using the code positive head. Uh, you'll get the audio or ebook uh, for free. Otherwise, until next time, journey well. Love you so, so much.